Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In React learning series, now we are on understanding what is JSX and what is JSX expressions. So to understand it, we have to understand that JSX is called JavaScript XML. JSX is JavaScript XML. It's a very simple one. So the tag which I am using here, you see, dev, class name, h1, and this div closing, these are not HTML. These are JSX x tag means they are xml tag that is written or build just similar to html for rendering purpose to make a similarity between real and virtual dom so this jsx makes our life very simple to create a new element in a components for rendering for example if I do not use, first of all, see the output here. We have this welcome to Dr. Weapon classes. Now I make it comment. Remember, I make it comment and I save it. And you will see that there is no output. We have a error. Why? Because we are not able to render a particular element because one element is required at least. So we have this process because we have an error. So, now under this, what I do, I need to pass a HTML tag. And remember that I can't pass HTML tag without JSX. And if I am not using a JSX, then we have a coding like this. I do react dot create element. Remember, an element I want to create is h1. Then the second element is the property. I'm not using any property third element third parameter is the value which I want to display so I display welcome to dr. weapon classes remember this I save it and you see the is running welcome to dr. weapon classes what is this this is HTML code remember that for creating a dynamic element or new tag in a JavaScript so now it is very simple to create one but which one is better if I write like this h1 it is better or to create this is better I think this is much better that is JSX now if I want to put this particular h1 text to the center i need a class the class is this app so how i can do this so i can do like this that uh, i need to create here first of all div tag remember that we have a div tag here then under the div i need a property the property is class name so i will set a property by using this expression tag and I need class name colon app remember this and here in place of text what I want I want a new react tag react tag dot create element and here I need to pass h1 under div I need h1 then I need blank then I need welcome to Dr. Weapon classes. Remember this and I save it. You see this much of coding I need to do only for displaying a two tag means one is the div under the div the h1 and we have a same output as we are using with the JSX. Remember but you can imagine which one is simple this one is simple or this one 
if i need to build a long page website a big website home page it is not possible to do such kind of coding it's very very tough and it's very very tedious also not able to debug not able to you can say modify the code later on whenever if we want to do some updates it's very confusing that's why we are just deleting this and this process is made simple by using this j s x javascript xml so this coding is javascript xml just look like of html but remember that in html we have a class tag element here uh, attributes we have a class attribute but here in jsx we have a class name attribute because class is already reserved for creating a class in javascript now just like this if i am using a 4 in javascript in jsx we have a html4 html4 like and we have a camel type of notation so we can't use 4 in jsx before that we have to use html4 so these are the some changes few more changes are there so later on whenever we will read then we will understand that what are the changes but remember that 99% this JSX tags and HTML tags are same. Some properties are changed, some attributes are changed. We can learn later on in more videos. So we understand this JSX, it's a JSX, remember, and it's look like HTML tags. It make our life easy to make a React audio. Now one more thing we have to understand the uh, JSX expressions. So remember that this Dr. Vipin class we have, I want to put this value in a variable. So I say <coughs> const and I create a variable, uh, we can say name and I put here Dr. Vipin classes like this. And I put this outside this return under the function like this. Now in place of this i want to display name remember but if i write a name here like this so it will display like this welcome to name but i want the value inside this that's why i have to put this expression tag save it and run it we have a same output so to use these curly brackets and pass the variables object information your variable information inside these curly brackets is called jsx expressions so we called it jsx expressions remember so this way we can display the value of the variables which we are using by using jsx javascript xml so i think you understand what is jsx what are the other alternative means the pure java script react coding to create elements if we are if we don't do not want to use jsx that is very very tough so it's very simple to use jsx and how we can use uh, the variables how we can display the variables or the value under the variables in the tag in jsx that is called jsx expressions by using curly brackets I think you have learned something from this video if you really learn anything please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video see you for more videos till then thank you for watching this video